So yesterday I was talking to Sharon and I told her I'm coming to James to get a dye job and the only thing she said is don't bleach it, it's not worth it. <laughs> Guess what I'm here to do? Bleach my hair. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. guys it is very old i mean literally i feel like the first thing you see when you look at me is hair <laughs> there it is so yeah here's the final result you guys it took me a while to get used to it because it's been a bit over a week since i got my hair dyed and every time i'd pass a reflective surface i'd be like guy who is that and why are they moving exactly like I am? <laughs> but yeah, now I'm actually so used to it that when I look at my old pictures with like the black hair, I'm like, who is that? <laughs> so yeah, I think it's something that you definitely have to get used to. So I've gotten used to it. Nice time you guys get used to it as well. But yeah, I really like it. I'm planning on keeping it uh, this color for a while. Then I might try out other different colors and decide if I want to gray it out. I don't know. I think I've just realized that I might not be a hair person. Like, I prefer my hair away from my shoulders than for everything else. When I miss the length, I can just do a wig or something. So, um, before I cut my hair, everyone was like, Oh my god, your hair has grown so much. And when I was reading those comments in the salon as James was chopping my hair, I was thinking, Guy, you're gonna be so mad. <laughs> but anyways, I want to show you guys the products that I was using before I cut my hair to grey it out. So it was a really simple routine. Like it's basically what I used to share with, what I shared with you guys in a previous video. But in case you hadn't 
watched it i used to just um control my hair so i'd control my hair okay let me explain it this way so i'd have my hair open then i'd do a treatment and this is the treatment that i would use you get you can get it from super cosmetics for 1500 i've had mine for a while and it's still you know there's still a decent amount left oh it's pouring there's still a decent okay you can't even see because it's white but there's a decent amount remaining so i think this is really like good value for money so i'd do a treatment then stay with my condos in for two weeks and then undo them and do it again so i feel like my hair grew because i never really used to manipulate it a lot it just always used to be in condos under a wig so i used to do the treatment and then i follow it up with the same leave-in conditioner this one is from sleek as well and then i just control my hair everything else in between would change or might change like those are the two things that i'd say were constant so now that my hair is colored my stylist james told me i need to um interchange my what is it called my treatments and mostly use like moisture based treatments because my hair now it gets dry so fast so then i use still the previous treatment that i showed you and then when i'm interchanging i use their moisture treatment this one is from sleek as well they're all 500 grams so now one week now i do a treatment every week so i do this one and then this one this one and then this one sometimes I, i'll be doing this one twice if my hair is just feeling a bit drier then i use the same leave-in i like this leave-in because it's for um damaged fine limp hair and i think <laughs> nothing is as damaged as bleached hair so i use that and then i use um the dark and lovely moisturizing afro butter and the Cantu coconut curling cream so yeah that's what i do after i've washed my hair for every day because i only wash it at the end of the week so for every day i just spritz my hair first so to spritz it i use this o tonic this is how it looks like and i got this from a lady who sells korean products i will link them down below in case you're interested it smells bad you know how natural things that are good for you only smell bad that is how this smells i use this and then i use the butter the um cantu curling cream and then on top of that i use coconut oil i can't see the coconut oil here but it's by the brand nazi and i really like it so yeah that's what i've been doing with my hair lately and i've noticed that my curl pattern is a lot more defined you know how when you bleach your hair the curl pattern loosens so when i wash my hair it looks really beautiful i will show you guys the day that i wash my hair because it curls up and it falls like all the way down here to my face so i have this front part falling all the way here and the sides are tiny and curly and oh, it just looks so beautiful i wish i could freeze it like that but you know by the time it dries up then it shrinks and it's all the way on top here but yeah i really 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 been enjoying this hair so i feel like i've talked really really fast for that last final section of the video but yeah that's how the hair turned out and those are the products that i am currently using um questions that might come up the salon that i went to i went to urban hair studio the one in prestige there's also one in town if i'm not wrong but for prestige i go to james i link his phone number down below in the description bar when it comes to prices the price will vary depending on your hair length so we'll, you will have to contact him directly maybe send him a picture of how long your hair is and then he will let you know but i paid um the price i paid included um the three bleaching rounds uh the dye that we used and a treatment so we did a treatment afterwards so yeah i really really like my hair <laughs> that is it for this week's video don't forget to like comment share and if you're new to this channel please subscribe down below for new videos every mondays and thursdays always remember to work hard and have good intentions until next time bye guys